Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and by popular demand in this video, we're gonna be looking at installing your free SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. Now, while this tutorial uses Linode, this will work on pretty much any other hosting platform that runs on the Apache or the Nginx web server, as long as you have SSH root access to that server and you have a domain name. So if you can check off those couple boxes, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, right here I have my WordPress website. It is installed at uh, this domain name, site2.xyz. And like I said, I'm running it on top of a Linode virtual private server at this IP address. The only way I can think about to prove that that's actually the case is to ping the site. So I'm gonna ping site2.xyz and you'll see that the IP address matches up with what we saw in the Linode dashboard. The only other kind of like pre-configuration step that you might have to take is to set up your DNS settings for your domain. So I bought my domain name site2.xyz from Namecheap and you'll see here that I have my A records pointed to that same exact IP address. So uh, once you're at that point, we can actually go ahead and start looking at installing the SSL certificate. So. We'll open up a terminal window if you're on Mac or Linux. If you're on Windows, you can use PuTTY to do the same exact thing. And what we're gonna do is SSH into our web server. So I'm gonna type in SSH root at site2.xyz. You'll type in your domain name here, and that will go ahead and log us onto our server. So um, let's look at our configuration file first for our web server. This a lot of you probably won't care about this, but I just want to show you guys what you're actually doing. So if there is a problem in the future, you can come back in here and debug what's going on. So um, this website, this WordPress website is running on an Apache server. Some of you will be running on an Nginx server. Uh, so if that's the case, just change out Apache for Nginx in this tutorial. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I point it out to you. So for example, let's go to the etc Apache2 directory. For those of you using Nginx, go to the Nginx directory. And you'll see in here that you'll have this folder called sites available. So let's go into the sites available folder directory, whatever you want to call it. And you'll see that we have these two basic default configuration files. We're not going to worry about them. The one we're interested in is wordpress.conf. So let's look at wordpress.conf and you'll see here that we have just a basic virtual host at this domain name and um, some error logs, blah, blah, blah. Nothing too exciting. I just want you guys to see what this looks like because we're going to come back in here after we ins install the certificate to see what actually happened under the hood because that's the, the the installer that we're gonna use in just a couple seconds is gonna modify this file. Okay, so now that we took a look at that, let's go ahead and install the installer. So let me explain what I mean by that. So Let's Encrypt uses something called CertBot to automate the process of installing the SSL certificate on your website. So we're gonna install that first. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here and copy the command to do that. It's gonna be this one right here. So apt-get install certbot. And we also wanna install python-certbot-apache. Again, for those of you who are using Nginx, you wanna install python-certbot. or dash Nginx, that's N-G-I-N-X. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Just hit enter. It's gonna take up some space, 15 megabytes or so. Hit yes to kick that off. And this will take, you know, at most 10 seconds um, while that's doing that. I'm gonna go to my cheat sheet again and copy the next command that we're gonna execute. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the command that we're gonna execute now that that's installed is certbot dash dash Apache. Nginx users type in certbot dash dash Nginx. Okay, so go ahead and hit enter. And now we're beginning the installation of our SSL certificate. So right here, enter our email address. This does not have to be your domain name that's associated with the SSL certificate or will be associated with the SSL certificate. This could be a Gmail address. This could be another email address. I'm gonna use my Tony at TonyTeaches.tech email address. Go ahead and hit enter. Do you agree with the terms? Yes, I do. Do you want them to send you other potentially relevant, but not really, no. Emails, I'm gonna say no. Um, 
Okay, so now what the installer is doing is it's reading that configuration file that we looked at and it found out that we have one website on this web server, site2.xyz. So we only have one option in this case to install an SSL certificate for that. So we're gonna go ahead and type one, which is associated with that domain name. Now what it's doing in the background is it's verifying that you actually own that domain name. Not sure specifically how it's doing that, but as long as it works, you're good to go. And it did work for us, so that's good. Um, the next step here, it's asking us if we wanna redirect our traffic from the HTTPS version of our website to the H, sorry. It's asking us if we wanna redirect the traffic from the HTTP version of our website to the HTTPS version of our website. I don't see many cases where you would not wanna do that. So in this case, let's pick redirect, which is number two and hit enter. And that's it guys. We now have an SSL certificate on our website. Let's um, just come out of the terminal window here for a second and refresh our web page. Take note that it's not secure at this point. We'll hit enter and we now see that lock on our website. Don't worry if you see some weird garbage on your screen like this. We'll go ahead and fix that in just a second. Um, We'll do that first. So yeah, let's go on our WordPress admin dashboard and we are getting some privacy errors because uh, you see it redirected me to my IP address. It's okay, you can proceed. It, nothing, nothing goofy's going on. So I'm gonna log in here. And once I get to the admin dashboard, there's just one, there's two URLs that we have to reconfigure um, that are hard coded as HTTP. So when this works, there we go. Uh, go into your admin dashboard settings general, and you'll see that, uh, which I probably should have did this earlier, but make sure, even if you have this at this point, site2.xyz and site2.xyz, or whatever your domain name is, you wanna come in here and make sure you add that S, HTTPS, and save that. So if we go back into the website itself, it should look normal. So that happens when you have a mix of insecure content with secure content. That's where it gets all funky like that. Um, if you're interested in this aspect, you're done at this point, by the way, there's nothing else to do. But for those of you who are interested in some of the behind the scenes, let's open up the terminal window again and do an LS in our sites available. You'll see that we now have a new configuration file. There was only these three ones before the uh, installer created this one. So let's look at this new configuration file for the web server, the Apache web server. And basically what it did was it took a copy of our old configuration file, which is basically this and this, and dropped in these lines that are kind of, you know, formatted differently. So these, um, these are, should be, indent it in here, that's okay, it's just a formatting thing, but these are the new lines that it added. This is our link, this is the path to the certificate file and the key and um, some, some other configuration options. So that's basically what it did in the background. It also modified our original WordPress configuration file, which is redirecting all traffic from the HTTP version of our website to the HTTPS version of our website. And that's what these three lines here do. And I'm pretty anal about this, so I'm gonna tab these in as well. Don't mind me. Um, okay, so that's, that's it, guys. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. It's really simple um, in the future. Actually, yeah, let's take a look at this actually. Let's, our certificate is good. It's issued by Let's Encrypt. It expires November 14th, 2020. Today is August 16th, 2020. So August, September, October, November, three months. Every three months, you'll have to come back in here and reinstall the SSL certificate. Um, that is a very manual way to do it, but in a future video, I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to automate that with a cron job. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, definitely subscribe to this channel for when that is published. If it's already published by the time you're watching this, I'll link it somewhere in the upper 
what is that, the upper right hand corner of the video and down in the description below. So you'll have that information as well. So um, yeah, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you really liked it, subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.